After a devastating locust invasion and relentless floods in northern Kenya, farmers in the region are preparing for yet another planting season, hopeful there won't be a second swarm of locusts. Technology is taking center stage too, as scouts across the region are armed with apps to report any sightings of locusts. CGTN's Nick Mudimba has more from Garissa, Kenya. We kicked off our journey from Kenya's capital Nairobi to Garissa, 370 kilometers away. Upon arrival, we hit the road once again, 60 kilometers from Garissa town to a village called Balambala, where desert locusts wrecked havoc. The situation was unfortunate. The farm is 145 hectares, and what remained after the invasion is an eyesore. We didn't know anything about locusts. We saw how destructive they were. They ate everything. We used to spray 20 times every day. They cleared three acres of sesame. Four acres of watermelon and lemon trees were all eaten. Just as you passed by, you meet these farmers getting rid of kills that went through double attack, locusts and diseases. Disposal is the order of the day as they ponder the next move. The facial expressions and body language is that of grief. They lost what was supposed to be a bumper harvest. As if the locust invasion was not enough, flooding was also a menace here. The farmers are right now picking up the pieces in readiness for another planting season. It's been a double tragedy, locusts and farming. But look at them, they're actually making it ready for another planting season. A very, very conspicuous virtue of hope in times of darkness. The loopholes and confusion that was witnessed when fighting the locust had an adverse impact on some farmers. The chemicals they used to spray were deadly to the human body. We were not aware of the pesticides. We had no protective wear. Right now, some people can't see. Some people have developed back and neck complications. During my attendance to FAO training to journalists, I spoke to Williams Hamisi, Deputy County Representative FAO Kenya, about the current plans on the locust invasion. The locust that we got in December was not born and bred in Kenya. It came in. So something brought it here. This something is wind. So these are southerly winds, those that were blowing from the areas of Ethiopia uh, to our northern district frontier. And then this, the locust spread with the wind now to the entire north, northern part of Kenya. So these winds, they have a pattern. Uh, like now, the pattern is that they are blowing north. So you don't expect uh, much of invasion now coming south because locust will, will fly with the wind direction. Technology has been integral in fighting the locust in different parts of Kenya. Just an app and the response is swift. Specifically, uh, for control purposes, uh, FAO has an app which we call eLocust 3M app, which is an app where every person involved in matters desert locust management, when they cite locust, they would be able to put uh, that information in the app, and immediately this is loaded it is um, uploaded to the headquarters where analysis is done. And then some predictions are generated. The fear of a second wave of the invasion is a possibility, but FAO's focus is to stabilize the farmers first. What we're looking at now is to support the farmers first, maybe to, through various means. But one of them would be like cash transfers, uh, some conditional, some unconditional. FAO has kicked off talks with Yemen in fighting the desert locusts to avert the second wave of invasion that is likely to hit Kenya again. Nick Mudimba, CG.